There is renewed controversy over using the term illegal immigrant versus undocumented person after Biden apologized for calling a murder suspect an illegal and Trump doubling down that Biden should apologize for apologizing. This gives us an opportunity to explain the terminology, how it's used by the media, and ethical concerns with both terms. But first, how the conversation was brought up. During Biden's State of the Union address last week, Biden was pressed by Republicans to mention the death of Lakin Riley, a college student murdered in Georgia. The suspect in her case was in the country illegally. Lincoln Riley, an innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal. To her parents, I say, my heart goes out to you having lost children myself. It was the word illegal that wouldn't sit well with fellow Democrats. And over the weekend, President Biden told MSNBC he regretted the word choice. You use the word illegal when talking about the man who allegedly killed um, uh, Lake and Riley. An undocumented person. And I shouldn't have used illegal. I should have, it's undocumented. And look, when I spoke about the difference between Trump and me, one of the things I talked about on the border was that his, the way he talks about vermin, the way he talks about these people polluting the blood. I talked about what I'm not going to do, what I won't do. I'm not going to treat any, any, any of these people with disrespect. While on the campaign trail in Georgia this weekend, Trump reacted to Biden's comments. Joe Biden went on television and apologized for calling Lincoln's murderer an illegal. He didn't want to call him illegal. He's apologized. He was an illegal alien. He was an illegal immigrant. He was an illegal migrant. The terms have been heavily politicized. Democrats more often use undocumented persons, whereas Republicans more often use illegal immigrants. The same goes for how the media refers to this group of people. Here are a few examples from left-leaning news outlets. In their various news coverage, CBS, ABC, and MSNBC refer to undocumented immigrants. Then you look at right-leaning media outlets and their news coverage on various immigrant stories. Illegals, illegal Mexican migrants, and illegal aliens are the terms used in their headlines. Journalists typically write in AP style. There's an AP style guidebook that sort of sets ethical standards across the board in this industry, even though AP does have a left-leaning bias. While it used to be acceptable to interchange illegal immigrant and undocumented person, in 2013, AP updated its rulebook. Except in direct quotes essential to the story, use illegal only to refer to an action, not a person. Illegal immigration, but not illegal immigrant. That's why you largely only hear news anchors and reporters use the term undocumented immigrants to abide by AP style. However, a media watchdog group, All Sides, which rates news outlets' biases, has found there are flaws in both terms. They say the term undocumented immigrant is overly vague. It doesn't clearly convey the illegal nature of the act in question. And the term illegal immigrant is technically imprecise because individuals themselves cannot be illegal, though their actions may be. Allside says the terms mean the same thing, and the definition of both is likely clear to any audience. But depending on political preferences and where you get your news, the term used will vary. This is a sensitive issue, but not something we're going to shy away from. We want to offer you a different experience in the way you consume news. That's why All Sides has given us a center rating, meaning our news doesn't have a left or right leaning bias to it. We think it's important to keep this rating in order to build trust with you, especially in an election year when accurate and unbiased information is what you, our viewer, deserves. Thank <laughs> you.